Hello and welcome to another video. This is, could be a good news, bad news video. Bad news is I had already shot this and my GoPro ate it. I got the invalid video file thing going on. Now, potentially the good news for you guys, you know, who get easily bored with my rambling on about all this boring EV stuff is that I've had to take my medication and my medication um, has been described by some as the equivalent of two double vodkas uh, so right now you know I'm feeling very chilled out so I'm gonna try to do this without rambling on about some random stuff you know so anyway right purpose of this video is to give you guys an update on the Panzer, Tesla components and new super secret BMW components, ooh, BMW, uh, that we have on site here. So first thing is relation to the Panzer. So the Panzer, last time that you saw us, we had dropped back on its wheels uh, so we could get it out of the way because I wasn't able to work on it last week. I was doing other stuff. Now, we're getting back to the Panzer this week, but it was a bit of a bonus anyway because I had to collect parts. And unlike, you know, other checkbook style builds that you see out there where parts just miraculously turn up and they're all top spec and oh thanks to our sponsors at whatever breaks and so and so shocks we have millions of dollars worth of parts to bolt onto this piece of crap car so unfortunately um i don't get to, to do to do that i get to do uh hunt around online really late at night trying to find the bits for dirt cheap and you know that takes more time than the old checky book build so anyway uh we got the parts so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk you guys through some of the parts and let you know what we're going to be doing probably while trying to yeah wow this is a weird feeling okay right let's get to the parts okay first things first we have some drive shaft cups uh these which i'm which i'm currently painting up at the minute i'm doing a you know spiffing job on it if i may say so with the old matte black um have been manufactured from the original tesla um cups that would have had the cv joints so we've had a very good engineering workshop modify these to give us the bmw e34 uh bolt pattern and this is for the 540 uh, drive shaft so should be able to stand at least some of the power that our Tesla drive unit may make now I realize a lot of you guys are going to be getting on the keyboards and you know telling me Damien you're doing it wrong these will explode and kill you and create the next apocalypse and you will be reviled throughout history as a bad person so, um, yeah, first thing I want to do is get the car moving. If we do start generating power, I'll get these made out of, you know, solid material and all that. But that being said, these are not amateur hour builds, guys. These have been sweated and keyed and low hydrogen welded. So let's not get too carried away about me creating the next apocalypse, please, with Tesla drive shafts now oh and you know that's the 540 drive shaft in the middle thingy there right next up fuel tank what we're looking at here is a tesla battery module and we are going to be using around 10 or 11 of these in the panzer i have two at the minute one here oh excuse me belchiness 
Uh, one of them's in my office at the minute because I was communicating, com communing, as it were, with its uh, BM, BMS board so we can determine that all the cells and all these little thingies in here are all doing what they need to do. Now again, I know I'm doing it wrong because in the normal Tesla pack, you'd have 16 of these guys. These are from an 80 kilowatt hour pack. And, you know, you'd have 16 of them, you'd have 80 kilowatt hours and 260 volts. Now, you know, you can do your maths, they're about 22 volts each. For if I put 10 or 11 in there, I'm going to have something around 220 to 240 volts. So, we're going to be doing some experiments to see how the voltage affects our Tesla drive unit performance. So, stay tuned and try to, you know, not... Uh, freak out about when I do weird stuff please because there's you know this is a weird stuff channel now over here to the right we have our Tesla charger and our high voltage junction box uh, gen 2 10 kilowatt charger just to be clear now when you last saw us with this little beauty we had one of the phase modules pumping out current uh, courtesy of our Arduino Dewey's and some simple power supply stuff in the meantime we have designed ourselves, ooh, look at that, shiny PCB, a replacement logic board. And this lo 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 logic board will bolt in here in place of the Tesla one and connect to the, you know, there'll be a socket on here to connect to the harness and to the outlet pin header. And this will be a drop-in replacement board for the Tesla logic board will enable us to use this charger as our AC charger in our Panzer build and you guys uh, can you know make these too because they're open source and they're free Whee. so um, files on the github for those don't go building one yet because I haven't tested them you know and then you blame me Damien it's not working and then I'll get all upset and have to take more medication so right these uh, will be tested soon, uh, but either way, even if I have screwed up, I'll fix it. And uh, then we will have charging. So we've got drive, battery, charging. Uh, what's next? Well, over here, we have a load of other Tesla components that have been graciously donated by my mysterious benefactors. Um, this is a cabin heater so this takes your high voltage and makes your toes warm up uh, this is a high voltage front junction box so it junctions the high voltage being a box uh, this is dc dc converter this guy takes your high voltage uh, battery and pumps out about 14 volts to run your you know basic car stuff <coughs> uh, things like the you know the kick-ass stereo system that we have in the panzer because we need a lot, a lot of juice for that when i'm pumping out 80s tunes um moving down here we have a battery fluid heater because we need to keep the batteries warmed up because they don't like being cold any more than my feet and front and center here is a tesla air conditioning pump which won't, won't get much work in this country but if we do our road trip, uh, this guy could get worked out. Um, over here is a pallet of stuff that I've sold that's still waiting to be collected. But we have some genuine BMW parts for you guys. So, you know, not often I buy genuine BMW parts, but here we go. Got some handbrake cables. These are E31 handbrake cables uh, because we had to bust out the ones that were there. These guys are really cool. These are a reinforcing plate that BMW um, made for the shock towers on the E31. We're going to be using these to strengthen up our shock towers because they'll now be used with our coilovers, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so there. Additionally, some new back plates for the E34 hubs because the back plates where there are crap a few nuts and bolts and stuff that's all boring now over here on the floor we have um what i like to think of as the piece de resistance as our french friends would say 
uh, a set of kick-ass gas coilovers. Now these guys are sexy as hell. Really light, good quality aluminium uh, coilovers. Uh, adjustable rate damper and we have some springs to go on there so we'll be springing those up and um, yeah this will be our rear suspension system uh, for the Panzer so who knows it might work it might not work but it's going to be interesting nonetheless these are 500 pounds per inch springs for those spring nerds out there Ugh. so I was really lucky to get these um, because normally these would be crazy money I couldn't afford them but I found a seller on eBay that kind of sells off the you know the ones that people don't come back for so this set was exactly uh, what I needed and it's basically brand new and about I'd say about a tenth or less of the uh, price that they would cost you uh, to get them custom made um, what else have I got for you guys Oh yeah, we got some wheel spacers. Just cheap eBay uh, 20 millimeter spacers to get our wheels back to uh, where they want to be. And we got some bolts uh, for those. What else is here? Brake calipers, uh, E34 brake calipers, rear, and a box full of crap here. Um, that's just things like brake discs, pads, um, bushings and stuff to rebuild the uh, E34 suspension arms and so forth. Alright, so that's kind of where we're at with the parts. Uh, we will be, um, yes, we'll be getting back to the car this week, yes and we'll be working on the car and the plan then is to have everything bolted up uh, in about a week's time painted up bolted up all this crap that you see here on the, the car then we're going to get the car back up here and we we'll start doing some electrical stuff and seeing if the damn thing moves you know because that's kind of important that it moves uh, it's one thing to motor the motor on the bench here but we need to motor the motor in the motor vehicle motor vehicle right now so next up we've got some uh, other bits here that I want to show you guys so stand by I'm gonna put some more paint on those hubs and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you uh, the next the next level as mr. Musk would say stand by okay I got a bit more paint on the hubs the fumes of which are not helping my mental state at the minute but hey all right, here it is. What is this thing I hear you say? Well, what we have got here is the traction motor from a mid-2016 BMW. You see, BMW, I'm going back to BMW. Um, I3 Rex. So that's the motor. That's the transaxle thing me, Bob. Um... I'm sorry about the mess here, but you'll see that. Do. Uh, ah, mm, mm, uh, there we are. So this has a male spline, like a gearbox would have, you know, a normal manual gearbox, and the motor has an involute spline, like a clutch disc. So uh, this motor also is completely sealed up, so you can bolt it up to something else like oh I don't know a ZF six speed manual maybe hmm interesting now this liquid cool motor allegedly cranks out 170 brake horse powers and is uh, I believe permanent magnet and in underneath this plate is the resolver and some temperature sensors and the phase terminal thing means for putting power in there. So we are going to be getting this to run with our open source inverter. And I'm going to be annoying Mr. Hubner again uh, for more software. Um, 
and you know he's very nice to me that way and that he doesn't kick my butt um, so yes new permanent magnet motor to run with open source inverter now I hear you say that's very interesting Damien uh, but what's this thing Aha, well this thing is a uh, uh, <laughs> yeah this thing is a 600cc two-cylinder four-stroke petrol engine uh, with a 26 kilowatt permanent magnet alternator bolted to it this is what puts the Rex in Rex this is the range extender thing me Bob okay and yeah so this is another component that we got I'm rambling and going crazy here and I don't even care uh, amazing what modern medicine can do for for one um, but anyway uh, yeah we're going to do something with this um, and I'll tell you in a minute once I collect my thoughts anyway this is the inverter um, metal device that has three phases here going to the alternator and battery and cooling and other ting me bobs um, so because the alternator on this would be pulling double duty obviously it would be generating electricity when the engine is running but it would also be used to motor the engine up to uh, firing speed to actually start it um, negating the need for a 12 volt starter and ring gear and all that other boring type stuff so yeah we're going to get this thing to run and um, then we're going to do something with it Now, what are you going to do with it, drugged up Damien, I hear you say? Um, well, not sure yet. I've a lot of ideas, but uh, there's one that's been kind of percolating a little bit over the last few days, so I'll share it with you guys. I have a petrol uh, year 2000 E39 Touring, and it has a six cylinder M52 engine. And I was going to do an LPG conversion on that vehicle and, uh, you know, run it on gas. But the engine's a bit sick and it's got 160,000 miles on it. Now, I love the car. It's a beautiful car to drive. There's loads of space in it. It's good for haulage and all that kind of thing. So, what I was thinking of is, uh, once we get the Panzer panzering, you know, what about an I-39 Rex project for 2018? What do you guys think of that? Answer is on a, a postcard or a YouTube comment, please. Right. That's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to be getting back to the Panzer in the next few days. It'll be some video for you guys. And by the way, uh, my last Panzer video got more views than any video that I'd ever made in my flipping eight years of doing this stuff so thank you very much for you know all that viewing and likes so on that note um i'm gonna leave you guys here thanks for tuning in links in the description to patreon and paypal uh so you can give me some money because that's handy so then i can get more of this stuff and make more videos and do more cra more crazy things and a big thank you to the people that are financially supporting me on patreon and other ways you guys are the best thank you right uh don't forget to like subscribe and share or subscribe like and share you can mix them up you know there's probably about nine ways to do that so um but do it in some way, you know, because then it's, you know, it's great, right? Uh, we will see you in the next video when I'll be more sane. And happy uh, parts collection. <laughs>